Hello guys, today we're going to start with uh, tutorial 3 where we're going to talk about adding two numbers uh, entered by the user. We're going to ask the user to enter two numbers and find the sum of those two numbers using the include Erwin32. The second example will be low level without any library, without any includes. Okay, so let's start include well, um, include Irvine 32.inc and we've got the dot data section and dot code and then we have um, let's put it here main process and we have the exit and main end process and end main end the program uh, in our data section, what are we going to have? We're going to have, first we're going to have to declare what? Two values, like if we were doing it in C or C++, that depends if I'm using an integer, if I'm using a short. I can say what? Um, integer num1, integer num2. In uh, assembly, we can declare it as, and remember, assembly, we put the variable name first, num1, then the data type. db define byte. Or we can say uh, define word to byte. Then we can say dd define double word, which is 4 byte. 2 bytes is short, 4 bytes is integer and long is defined quad uh, word which is uh, four uh, four quads it's going to be eight bytes those are four integral representations so let's do a defined byte and i want to give it a value of zero initial value of zero and i'm going to say here we're going to have d Define word, we'll switch short in C++, and define uh, D word, which is integer, and define quad word, which is uh, long and C++, C++. And here I'll have num2, define byte. And I'm not going to give it any initial value. This is like saying, well, but it's not going to be an integer. It's going to be one byte. Integer num2 without giving any values. And the first one is saying integer num1 given a value of zero for any of you that are familiar with um, C, C++. Now we need to buy, uh, define what? Our strings, our C outs. In uh, C, C++ we usually did it in the body of main. If we have a, a C out to indicate to enter uh, a number, like C out to enter uh, the first number, we're going to declare those as strings here. String 1, define byte, and I'm going to say enter first number and this is what 0 a h 0 d h and 0 this is for the new line and string 2 I'm going to define it as defined by enter second number and I'm gonna say here I'm gonna use the 10 13 which is decimal and the previous one is hexadecimal those two are the same those two this and this are the same meaning the new line and 
and I'm going to define string 3 to print the result defined by it. I can put it in single quotes. The sum equals mm -hmm. and then put 10, 13, and zero. I define my data here. Now I need to go to my code section and first thing we need to do is print enter num1. So we say move edx. I'm gonna move the offset of a string 1 so we can print it. This, what does it do? Moves the address of uh, string 1 to edx, the offset. So now we can print it because call right string will go look on edx and see what address is there and goes to that address and prints whatever is there. And this will print call right string. So now we need call read integer and this one is the new one. This is like C, uh, saying cn num1. It's not actually doing cn num1 because this is going to put the whatever you enter into the accumulator and it's going to take it as the well, ASCII value of it. And we're going to see what that means. Now, call read integer. We're going to see in the next example what that, what that means. So now, I need to move that value, the one in the accumulator, the one you're going to input, move it to where? Thank you. Move it to num1. So I'll say move whatever you have in num1 in uh, accumulator. And we're going to take AL, YAL, not AX or, and here we're going to say move it to num1. AL because I define num1 as byte. If I put AX here, it's going to be size mismatch. If I put EAX, it's going to be also size mismatch. If I had defined this as a uh, double, uh, as a double, as a word, okay, as a word, two bytes, I'll use a x. If I define it as a d word, four bytes, I'll use e a x. If I had to define it as d e q, uh, d q, which is a quad word, eight bytes, we're gonna use two registers. So this will take, put the value, whatever you input, into num1, into where I had the zero here. Now we got the first number, now we get the second number. But we need to print the message. Move edx offset string 2 and then I can say call write string and this is a procedure, a function from the uh, Airbyte 32 library and we say now call read integer call read integer this is a new uh, procedure that we took today it takes an integer we can say call read decimal call read hexa call read uh, character in uh, assembly each one has its own read so now what happened okay so now i have it in a L. If you want this, this step is not necessary, but because I declared num2, so I say move to num2, to num2. Remember, this is the destination. First operand is the destination. And this is a memory operand. We have three types of operands. Memory, register, and immediate. Constant or constant expression. Immediate can be constant or constant expression. And I move Whatever is in AL, which is going to hold the second value we enter here.
and the core read entity. And why this step is not necessary? Uh, because I'm gonna add now I need to do what? AL equals AL plus num1. This will add both numbers. Because what do I have in AL? It's the last number we entered, which is num2. So we don't, we can't do num2 plus num1. We can't add two memory operands in assembly. So what I'll do here is I'll say add to AL, which has num2 add num1 and this is num2 the second number we enter now this as both numbers puts them in al if i want to declare another sum value here to hold the sum i can declare it i have to say what well, move um al to sum but that's enough what I, what I can do here now is move uh, I need to print the third string saying move string uh, offset of string 3 move it to edx and call write string print the string and this will print it now i can say call i want to print whatever is in the in the accumulator call write integer and this should print it and we have the exit and here i can say Clear, clear, or was it CLRF? New line, it's a US new line. Call, we have to do call. This is a function. And here today, we can say we took two new things, which is call read integer and call write integer one to read an integer cn and one to print an integer c out this whatever it reads from the uh, keyboard takes it to the accumulator this whatever is in the accumulator prints it onto the screen. This is our data part. Here we declared our data. And here's our code. And, and let's go on the code again. Here we declared two numbers as uh, bytes. Just taking one byte. Uh, we declared three strings to print messages. Uh, C out, enter first number. C out, enter second number. We want to do those. First thing we do is move the offset, the address of the first string to edx so i can uh, call right string which goes and looks in edx sees what address is there and prints until the end of the string and uh, then we call read integer meaning input an integer here so it takes whatever the user inputs in the keyboard saves it in al we moved it from al to num1 so we can add it here then we do move edx offset string to go to uh, put the address of string to put it in edx so when i call the write string function which goes to edx checks the address is there prints whatever is in string two till the end now i'm doing call read integer i'm reading another integer uh, takes whatever the user prints on the types on the keyboard and saves it in the accumulator this step we said it's not necessary but we're moving it to num2 because we declared it now here i'm adding i'm doing my i'm adding both numbers al which has the last user input which is num2 adding it to num1 saving the result in al so we're actually doing this and this step
now we're saying here so we can print a user friendly message move edx offset string 3 go to the address of string 3 put it in the edx so we can call the write string function which checks edx and prints whatever is in that address till the end as a string the sum is this we know that in assembly we can define a string either by using double quotes or single quotes same apply for a character which is different from c and c plus plus this will call uh, a new line same as what we did here this is in decimal this is in hexadecimal assembly by default takes any number as decimal so we need uh, hexadecimal numbers we need to put an h indicating it's a hexadecimal number if i have a letter i need to put a zero before it a is this 10 d is this 13 so now what we do is i don't know when i say this the the code uh, becomes smaller so we can do one thing Oh, let's see. Where did we have it in? Yeah. Oh. Uh, we're going to save it as program free dot asm. See, I don't know why it changes the curve, but let's go here now, run the program, and see build, let's see if we have any errors, undefined symbol, okay, so I have a misspelling here, maybe it's called RLF, clear. Okay, save first before running tools. Close it, run without any errors. Tools. Enter the first number, 15. Enter the second number, 23, which will give us what? 2838. The sum is. 38 good guy and to make it look better I don't need this here so I want it to type inside that one save we have 15. One fourteen. Good guys. I'll leave the code in the description section, and I'm thinking of doing the program as low level, doing it as an another video, a separate video, because I don't want long videos. So we'll stop here and I'll follow this with uh, doing this program in low level assembly, meaning without using a library, without the include urban 32 library. And it's you're gonna see how stuff get complicated a little bit. Thank you guys.